What's up guys? My name is Adrian Rivera and I make music in my shed. Join with me today is somebody else who also makes music in my shed. Background actor of Apple TV show Dark Matter, Tegan James Perez Washington. That that is true. I did do that. I did do that. It was cool. Yeah. How how was the experience? Uh, it was dope. They treated us nice, man. Like I was eating breakfast and lunch, you know what I'm saying? Uh she's an actor, guys. Yeah, yeah. It if was you a need vibe. if you need any actors for your next acting hit him up <laughs> yep. hit me up the actor guy for acting right so today we're gonna be going over my new song called on the other side and this is like one of the most like fresh episodes you guys are gonna get because uh i i released a song late distract i got distracted it's it, it, yeah you know life happens you get distracted sometimes and i didn't have a song uh ready so this song finished up got it out and it did come out on the 25th but that means it's a little late on some streaming services because we didn't get it out or we didn't get it scheduled in time um but it will be out by the end of the week by the time this podcast episode comes out it's probably gonna be out already um but because of that now we have like the freshest episode like it's the 25th today so it's like the freshest episode that you could mm-hmm. possibly get and this guy actually hasn't even listened to the song yet so you guys are gonna get his first reaction your his his live unlive reaction because it's not live but it's like live because you're watching it happen and then it's like kind of live no i get it yeah exactly right yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> so let's get into it you ready you excited i'm so ready and excited all right this is on the other side over on the side it gets so hard to Okay, it's first reaction, wow. bro. What's your what's your first initial thoughts? Initial thoughts. Uh, this is this is great. This is incredible. Like this is the type of stuff that I like to hear from you. Yeah. Um, 
or I think this is the stuff that I just like in general. And yeah. so when you do stuff like this, like I really like it. Jeez. Um, but yeah, I mean, instrumentation was sick. Like, uh, it just, I, I want to hear this perform live. Yeah. Like, it's one of like those with songs. With a band, like that'll yeah, be so sick. I know, sick. right? That's, that's also what I was thinking when making it. Cause I feel like it's a very, um, well, it definitely is very organic sounding. There's no, actually, now that I think about it, there's like no synthesizers or anything going on in the song. Mm. It's all organic sounds. The only thing that I actually like programmed, like plugged in were the drums um, and the piano. But besides that, like everything is like recorded with guitar and all that. And so, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good band song now that you mentioned it for sure. Um, Sounds so clean, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah, and I'm 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 really happy with the song. I think it definitely captures like just kind of my music mindset currently, you know. Um, especially like it's it's the most recent thing that I've written. So like obviously like it's perfect timing, guys. Like you know the podcast coming out at the same time as Kong come out. Like this is the freshest information. But yeah. Um, but yeah. But we, we're not going to dive into the lyrics this episode. Next week, you guys will get those those lyrics. Um, which, by the way, just to say, since we're on the topic of it, you actually already knew the lyrics before going into this because you needed to get those questions yes. written down and all that. Yes. So hearing the song and then like knowing the lyrics already but not knowing the song, how was that? That that was interesting. I guess, like, yeah, it didn't really sound like I expected it to. Yeah. I didn't have... I guess I didn't have like a set expectation, but I think I kind of just went into it thinking it was going to be, uh, I think I was thinking faster tempo. Yeah. Not necessarily like happy or anything. Yeah. But I, yeah. I, I really like this. So not what you're expecting, but pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So let's get into breaking this down then. Um, before I just start going down the line, is there anything specific that you want me to point out right now that you you heard and you just want to go back and and like gloss over real quick? Uh, I thought the drum sounded interesting. Yeah. How did you uh How did you come up with that and and that kind of sound? All right, we'll go to the drums first then. So um, th- this song is like i would say heavily inspired maybe people who are fans of folk like hardcore fans of folk might not agree but i feel like it's heavily inspired by folk music folk blues like kind of sound um folk rock i feel like you would i would consider this um and so with these drums um you can hear like as we build into like the i guess quote unquote drop where like the actual drums come in like all the the kick and the snares and everything yeah there's a tambourine going on at first um where do i have that at is it it's just included into this right yes right here and that's just going on in the background with like some reverb in there something um that i really wanted with these drums was for it to feel like there's like a lot of space so everything besides the kick have like reverb on it you know like Mm -hmm. a very open reverb so you hear right here and so yeah there's that um but when in terms of the drums the pattern of the drums basically kind of just loops the entire time um but it fits it fits really well i feel like yeah and when we have it with uh well here's the acoustic guitar you when you're asking like how did i come up with the pattern for the drums i based it off of the acoustic guitar which you can really hear like at the beginning this pattern the kick kind of follows that like you know um dun 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 like pattern mm-hmm. you know what i'm talking about and so if you put it together but yeah so there's that um but yeah let's go back to this acoustic guitar so beginning just that one note and then chords come in and 
for the verse, it's these two chords playing over and over again, basically. But then when we come into the chorus over here, we still have those chords, but we introduce two new chords mm. at the very beginning before those. And then at the end of this chorus, there's one chord at the end that kind of ties it all together to give it like that somber feel, you know? So... And then back to those chords. And then you'll hear right here that final chord. You know, that minor chord in there that makes it real sad at the very end. That'll do it. That'll do it. And I love, I love those. I don't even know what like the the technical term is but anytime you go from like major to minor at the very end right there like i love that sound i feel like it's so it just it feels so like somber you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah all right so uh next what we got going on is this bass line right nothing too crazy you know it's a bass line just following the root notes and this one specifically i'm not really doing much either in terms of like climbing different notes it's really just playing the root notes the whole time but yeah so there's that um and then one more thing over here for the verse that we got going on is this electric guitar plug and i really like this sound you know um when i was writing the song I wrote this song first on my acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. right? And so, um, when when I had first written it, this wasn't like something that was in my mind, bringing it into the studio. But then once I brought in my electric guitar and then just kind of like you know threw in a little extra stuff, like this is where I feel like it kind of ties in the folk sound. I don't know what it is about this electric guitar, but it's like, give it a listen. Just give it a listen. And that just repeats the whole entire time throughout the verses. And so combining it with the acoustic guitar. And yeah. That's so, fire. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really liked that when, when I came up with it. Um, and originally, also too, the the timing was a little different with those notes, um, and I had switched them around specifically because, like, I feel like the way that it, it this way opposed to what I used to have flowed a lot better with the vocals mm. and the way that I was singing the melody and all that. So, let's bring it all together so you can listen to this this how it sounds for the verse specifically. So that's what we got so far. Again, we got tamarines coming around in the chorus. My bad. I didn't mean to pause it. <laughs> but it adds to that build, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's really subtle in the background, especially with the vocals and everything. You don't hear it. You, I think, Well, you hear it, but I feel like you most, more so feel it rather than hear it, you know? And then... Um, on top of that, we got this electric guitar strum going on. Just following the chords. And then here's where we get like all the atmosphere going on. Um, is this piano right here? Um, give me one second because it's selecting both of those things for whatever reason. All right, so this piano really gives it like the entire, that whole atmosphere. Mm. sound feel if you want to say so i 
I love pianos. I love that sound of a piano, like when it's so wide and everything like that. Pianos yeah, are was, they're they're such a good instrument to add atmosphere with. That was powerful, man. Thank that you. was powerful right there. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and so bringing like going back to listen to everything together, the transition from the verse to the chorus, you'll hear um, the the energy, I guess, like the the power, like you said. Or here, hold up, my bad, my bad. Let's go back a little bit more. then on this final chord everything is just kind of like elongated out and so we already covered the drums you have like a lot of the stuff going on um in this this i guess what do you want to call it post chorus section but i really really love this guitar i call it blues guitar because like this is where i say that i get like some blues inspiration from mm -hmm. um especially with like the guitar slide you know that like that is uh very common in like blues country music um because specifically to get those sounds you need a a slide it's like a, a metal tube that you'll wear on your finger that mm -hmm. you'll like slide on the frets to get like that sliding sound and you can do like i guess like a slide um without one but because the frets determine the notes like it's not smooth it's like you'll go up each note rather than just like gliding between those uh, semitones in yeah. between. you know what i'm saying and so um i don't have a slide so this actually this little piece on my xlr cable like the tubular piece i guess you want to say I I uh, unscrewed it and then put it on my finger to like get those sounds specifically because I don't have I don't have a slide, so innovation. This is what you gotta do. What you gotta do to get the sound you want. So yep. this is this is how it sounds. This is how it sounds, and I love how it turned out. Like this is exactly what I imagined in my head, and then we got it out there. So. Did that with an XLR cable. For real, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so... um, Besides that, most of the things are the same in terms of instrumentation. Like, a lot of the elements come back for this. But something I add for this, only this section too, um, is this ambience. I got, like, ambience of a crowd, you know, and just kind of threw it in there through some reverb um, to give it more texture. But I also just kind of recorded myself just, like, yelling random stuff um and like and so you'll hear it in the background but it's more so there for like for the texture like i'm just saying like gibberish just things that were just randomly on my mind but um you don't hear it you just mm. kind of you hear it but it's like you don't it's not coherent you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah so if you give it a listen a lot of yelling and yeah so that's some ambience um thrown in the background there um and i think it just like it adds a lot to to the feeling of the song the environment it puts you in an environment you know what i'm saying um so let's put it all together and hopefully you can get what i'm what I'm trying to put down. I don't know what it is, why it makes you feel a certain type of way, or at least it makes me feel a certain type of way having that in the background. Yeah, no, um, I agree. But the way that, because I, I was just thinking about it, trying to rationalize it in my brain right now, 
I th- like the way that I think it could probably be like it could work is that um that instrumentation along with the ambience of people uh can make it feel less alone maybe more like of a a it gives it I feel like it could give it more of an uplifting feeling because it's like it sounds somber but you got other people there with you in this like you know setting yeah no i'm with that but yeah so this is basically the entire instrument instrumentation actually one more thing for this final chorus um same thing going on with the first chorus but we have the drums there and then on top of the drums there's also these uh electric guitar this new electric guitar strum that i include there to kind of just give it more energy and there's a lot of chorus on it And so hearing it with everything else, you can pick it out and know know what I'm talking about. But yeah, and it all just like, especially with that guitar too, again, it's like, I feel like it just, it sounds very folk country blues inspired yeah um which do i listen to that a lot um sometimes i do listen to that kind of music sometimes um but very specific artists you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. um and so i draw my inspiration i wouldn't necessarily say i draw the inspiration from i mean it does draw it, it obviously draws from the genre but like it's more so the people that i listen to from that genre yeah if that makes sense yeah um but yeah so now let's move on to the vocals real quick i'll just show you a few of the harmonies that i got going on um here in the chorus let's do the end chorus because this is where the most harmonies are um or not the most harmonies but this is like opposed to the first chorus there's more harmonies going on in the second chorus so if you listen to this i would have to lie to say it's fine Although I been dreaming way too long to see it die, so I'll survive. Boom, bro! I gotta take more notes from you, man. <laughs> like, that sounded great. Thank you. I really got up there in my range because I I have the the main melody being sung below and up the octave. And so that was really like extending the the range that I have, and is it was it was hard hitting some of those notes. Not gonna lie, um, but then on top of that, there's like just like another harmony that's layered on top there that really like fills it out. Um, and the place that has the most harmony is is like this second verse right here. Oh, I'll keep my calm. Cause I know it won't be long And oh, I'll brave the storm I guess I'm keeping on Yes, I'm keeping on but Yeah, at this point, um, I think it's it's pretty routine that you, you guys know that I like to sing chords underneath melodies a lot of time. And they always just sound so good. Like, I love singing chords underneath melodies because it's just, like, it feels, it feels, it just fills that out. And, like, just, yeah. it's so good. Especially with these chords, too. Like, I feel like it's very, very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> a plus. A plus. Thank you. But, yeah, so that, well, before we, we finish this off, that is basically its entirety. Now it's finished. Boom. Now we can sleep well. All right, you have a song called Sleep Well. I do have a song called Sleep Well. But yeah, so that's that's the production for On the Other Side. What do you what do you think? What do you think of this song? Beautiful, dude. Thank Beautiful. you. Man. This Thank is you. one of those ones that's gonna that's definitely gonna be on my playlist heavy. Jeez. You know, I'm glad. I'm glad. That makes me happy. Um, yeah, I love the song. Obviously, I like like all of my babies. All my songs, they're all my babies. So I love this song. 
Um, but it definitely, it's definitely one of those more, I guess, ballad type songs, you know, yeah. that I'll write on occasion. And um, I'm glad you like it because, like, I know you like to, I know you like those kind of songs when when I when I make them and I release them. But yeah, um, yeah I'm I'm hesitant to ask about like topics topic wise about the song how you feel i want to save that for the next episode uh, okay. so we'll, we'll talk about that more in the next episode um but you gotta do it live dude you you, you gotta yeah, you gotta do this live speaking of live they're actually i feel like i was i was telling my girlfriend this yesterday i feel like a lot of people recently like these last few like months right um have been asking about live shows like a lot of a lot of uh, my of my listeners have been leaving comments on a lot of different play, places, um, DMs, emails, comments on just social media. It's like like when you perform here, I'll be there. Or when you perform here, I'll be there. There's a lot of people saying that you know. Mm. Um, so far, there's not a big amount of people in one location. Everybody's okay. saying like if you go to Denver, if you go to you know like atlanta or like things like that there's yeah. a lot of people all over the place um toronto <laughs> yeah but uh it's cool though that there's people like you know waiting for a show you know yeah which is great to hear and i would love to do a show i just i feel like i need to have a central location where i have enough of a fan base to be able to go out and perform there yeah um not just enough of a fan base, but like enough of people that would go out, and it's hard to gauge that number when you when you don't know those numbers. Yeah. So right. you know, uh, but hopefully soon, hopefully soon, like I would love to be able to go and perform like this song, you know, and like a few other songs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, I I love the song. I love the song. Me too. You know what else I love? Quotes. I same here. Yeah. You know. Do you, do you know what time it is? No, nah, I don't know, man. Quote of the week. Wow. <laughs> wow, it is time. <laughs> All right, bro. How about you start off? Oh, shoot. Bro, just put me on the spot. All right. Quote time. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, because I, cause I, cause I, I wasn't. I wasn't ready. Dang, this guy, this guy lied to me. See that he lied to you guys most of all. That's 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 a big showing of your character, bro. You lied to the audience. I can't believe that. That that's a big yikes. Uh, but so my quote is, um, it's from Tyler the Creator. I don't even remember where this is. I think it was a tweet or something. I think, um, everything is figure outable. Sure. That's and, facts, and that's facts. That facts. Is facts, like how you figured out the the slide on the guitar, right? You know, yeah, had to figure it out. Yep, exactly. And while not everything might be perfect, it is figure outable. Mm -hmm. You might not get what you thought envisioned, but you you could you can get you can figure it out though. You can figure it out. You can figure out anything. Anything you put your mind to. For real, I like that one. That is that is. I feel like I've heard it before too. I wonder. If, have you have you said this quote to me before? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, well, I feel like I've heard it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, my quote is from this gardening YouTuber I watch. His name is James Prigioni. I love that guy. He's so he's so awesome. <laughs> he said he's like that's what I want in the future with his garden he's his food forest that he has in his, in his backyard that's what i want in the future for my future home but anyway james prigioni he said what if you had to live off of your garden quitting wouldn't even be an option right and so this was in one of his videos where he was talking about like uh if it's in the middle of the season your garden hasn't been doing so well or you haven't even planned like started planting or anything like that he's basically his premise in that video was saying like don't quit like you still have the re half of the season to go, and although you can't plant everything that you initially want to, like there's still so much you still can plant. Um, and he, so like that, what he said is like, what if you could, like, what if you had to live off of your garden? Like quitting wouldn't even be an option, right? Yeah. And like it's true because it's like, like gardens, your like if you had to live off your garden, that's literally your food source, and it's like you can't quit on your garden if yeah. that's what's going to provide you. And I feel like like that can be applied into so many different aspects you know 
um specifically like you know with our careers right it's like if you think take into a perspective of it's like sometimes especially actually this is pretty on topic with the song but like you know if like if you feel like sometimes it feels like hard to continue to do something that like you feel isn't going super far or isn't moving as fast as you want yeah right you know and so like but what if this was like all you had rich you know for me it's very true it's like this is this is basically all i'm i'm like really working towards and so it's like yeah quitting wouldn't even be an option right yeah so it's like that's yeah that's that was a good one that was a good quote from james prigioni love that guy shout out james prigioni for real for real but yeah so any questions comments concerns i think that's it i like your quote man thank you Cheers. all right if you guys like uh me and prez feel free oh shoot i hit the the mic feel free to rate this podcast on spotify um five stars preferably but if you know if you're feeling like maybe a 4.9 4.8 like that's that's all right too that's all right too i actually don't think you can do points i think you only do like four stars three stars yeah whatever it just give us a rating it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's true to you i like that thank you thank you and uh we will uh talk at you later did you like yeah, that outro no, that's good thank you that's good thank you we will right next week exactly <laughs> check it out thank you guys so much for watching we make music in my shed Thank you.